This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. All right. Uh, sequential versus event-driven. What is the difference between a sequential program and an event driven program. First off, I am going to talk through this with you, my fake partner over there on the other side of the screen. <laughs> um, however, plagiarism is real and a real problem. Do not plagiarize. If you can find this, your teacher can find this. My students, I will find this because it's me. But really, 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 I, I love talking about this stuff. I love growing and learning and knowledge. But make sure it's your own thoughts that you are writing down, not my words. Okay, that being said, what's the difference? So, in a sequential program, a sequential is like a list. It happens in order. For example, if I say stop, drop, and roll, that's sequential, right? What are you supposed to do? Well, first you have to stop. Second, you drop. And then third, you, well, you roll, right? It's not roll, drop, stop. That doesn't even make sense. We need it to run in order. We need those steps in order for fire safety. So that is sequential. Event driven, an event is like an on click or a mouse over. Now think about that. Does that program always run in order? No. What if my first bit of code is on the event that the hawk is clicked and my next bit of code is on the event that the pigeon has a mouse over it? Okay. If I put my mouse over the pigeon first, that means the second part of that program is running first, right? So the program won't necessarily run in order if the user has gets to choose. If there's 10 buttons and they all have on events, it's very unlikely that the first button the user picks is also the first button in the code. So event-driven programs only run when something happens. Sequential programs run straight through in order. So I'll write something about that. Okay, so again, plagiarism, plagiarism, it's so easy to find this on the internet, and you'll get caught, and there's auto-checkers like I use for students. All right, sequential programs run straight through the code in order, like what I was just saying, one step after another until the program ends. Again, stop, drop, and roll. That's That, and that idea is an essential program. This step, that step, that step, line by line. Event-driven programs execute depending on actions taken by the user, such as a mouse click. This means the code does not always run in order. Yup, and that just about does it. Cool, I'm excited for the next lesson. Onward!